Hi, I'm Matt Farm, and welcome back to the Bomb Movies presentation of Skyrim. Okay, so Turgon has spent the last nine days somewhat preparing for the impending dragon fight. However, he's fallen back into old habits and spent most of the time drinking Nord Ale. I really hope the dragon hasn't burnt and eaten all of the White Run inhabitants by now, and that the Jarl Bolgruf hasn't set a bounty on his head. Let's go and find Irileth and see if she's still alive and take this dragon to Southern Guard with some well-placed arrows and a lot of luck. Indeed. So we're currently outside at Home Street Home, The Lodge, with Zora and Sophia and we're going to head down to find Irileth. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, so we've got to meet Irileth near the Western Watchtower, which will be that watchtower there. Fine, let's make our way down in the lovely rain as usual. Okay, so I can see the western watchtower over there in the distance, and I can certainly see some smoke. Ah, Whiterun, home of the fabled companions. They're the fiercest warriors since Kyrim. But I like the fact that they live in an upside-down boat. <laughs> they live in an upside-down boat? Okay, I'll have to have a look at that. Didn't notice that before. Something on your mind? Yeah, I was just uh, thinking about what you just said, Zora. Okay. Right, girls. Let's go kill a dragon. Because I did lots of vigorous training. Honest. Okay. Well, we know Sophie is a bit of a, a naughty one. I think Zora's got a bit of a... Uh, playful streak, shall we say, in her as well. Okay, I don't think picking flowers is appropriate before we uh, fight a dragon, but I did so anyway. Okay, it looks like that's Irileth and the guards. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay, fair enough. If there are any survivors, it looks pretty decimated. Everything is on fire. Come on, guys. I wonder if we can get a better view up there to try and find the dragon. Not that uh, dragons would be inconspicuous or anything. They're generally huge flying lizards. I think the smaller they are, they're called something different, like drakes. No, dragonlings. It's still here huh? somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Guardsmen, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Okay. Kid, let's save us. Here he comes again. Oh, there it is. Okay, get ready. Find cover. And, make every arrow count. and I think finding cover is a good idea. Can I loose an arrow off before it gets here? No. Okay, kill the dragon. Don't worry, we shall try. I did uh, lots of uh, practice over the last nine days. This being the 10th day, you know, the ale helped considerably. Okay, kill the dragon. Whoa, get out the way, get out the way. That dragon is talking to us. Yeah, keep it down, good idea. Keep it down, but at the moment it is flying. I'm glad the rain has stopped. Makes shooting this dragon slightly easier. You're gonna turn and shoot me? No, you're gonna fly off. Good dragon. Good dragon. Okay, it's landed. It's pretty hurt. Can we finish it off from here? Okay, come on, dragon. Whoa! Hey! Dragon dead. That was considerably easier than I thought it would be. Indeed. I'm wondering why that was uh, considerably easier. Okay. Right, well maybe we shouldn't uh, worry about that and should be glad that we killed the dragon! Huzzah! Actually, I should try and get a, uh, a 
a picture of me on the dragon, shouldn't I? Someone can uh, take a sketch. Quickly, take a sketch. Me, dead dragon. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening to the dragon? What's that? I'm soaking up some sort of magical essence. Must be my uh, magnetic personality. Okay, so I absorbed the dragon's soul. Use the shout section of the magic mini to equip your unrelenting force shout. Okay. Born to kill. Awesome. That was considerably easier than I thought it would be. Awesome. I um, doubt that Jarl will be that annoyed with me now. I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. No, I've got normal um, Nord parents. I wasn't born from a dragon, but what do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I thought it was its soul. Um, is that its power? Um, I've got no idea, but I think he might be right. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. Um, According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Okay. Um, what do I shout? Hello? I believe it. You actually killed a dragon, and you absorbed its soul? This day just keeps getting better. Just wait till I tell people that a true hero slayed a dragon. Of course you helped out a there bit. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. <laughs> You're just I'm only back joking. Now for the first Although time you couldn't have done forever. it without me. Okay, everyone's talking at once. Um, I'm gonna shout, yeah? Was there something you wanted? Um, yeah, I shouted. Come on, tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? Wait, are you really dragonborn? So I guess that really does make you kind of special. I guess you almost live up to my eyes. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill you. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. Well, I'm both, Irelef. Everyone is talking. Zora's talking about shopping. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn then. Um, okay. Awful lot of information from an awful lot of you at the same time there. Yes, I must be Dragonborn. No, we're not going shopping. Yes, I killed a dragon. Yes, I'm Dragonborn and I killed a dragon, so you must really like me now, Irrela. Uh, and yeah, I'm awesome. Let's shout again. Fear with you on our side. Okay, did this dragon actually have any loot? Mermelnir, the dead dragon. Awesome. It did, look at all that. Amethyst, death bell, dragon bones, dragon scales. Uh, I don't want an iron mace. Lots of different oils. Okay, interesting. Poisons, couple of recipes, some septims. Okay, nothing particularly amazing, but still, that Did was quite it. a horde. We actually slew a dragon. Have you only just noticed? Our names were part of a legend. This is unbelievable, my hero. Oh, thank you. And look at that concern on your face. All that, um, well, is that tears of joy? I can see that you probably were once very beautiful, so Zora. Now? Uh, okay, change the subject then. Bye. Right. I th uh, what now is we check to see if there's anything else we can loot. That's what's now. Don't want to get too close to the burning bodies, but let's have a look. Bone mill. Arrows and a torch. Okay, anything else? Um, more burning bodies? Oh, there's a burnt body there. Okay, waste not. Well, not these steel arrows are useful. I don't actually think that dragon killed many of the guards. How cool is that? 
We taught that dragon not to mess with ah. White Run, didn't we? We did. Um, he didn't, but we did. Okay. Got to be one casualty. Okay, so do we go back to the yard now and show off? Yes. I think so. Let's walk. Okay, let's use the uh, the path. I left the horse outside the uh, lodge, didn't I? Ah, uh, it's not far. I mean, the lodge is only over there, and White Run's only over there. What's that? Is that a dog or a wolf? I don't know, couldn't see anything. Okay. To the yarl! I'm looking forward to boasting, actually. I hope he's not too annoyed how long it took. Um, it doesn't look like the dragon did anything, you know. It's probably just nibbling on a few guards. I suppose it did destroy the watchtower, but... They can always rebuild. I was busy training, you know. And if I hadn't trained, we wouldn't have killed the dragon so easily. Some of the best ideas are born from a few drinks. Okay. Is that my horse? I wonder what would happen if a Khajiit and an Agonian had a baby. What are you doing here? Uh, that would be one ugly baby. A Khajiit and an Argonian? A scaled cat? I think I've seen one of those. Anyway. I'm right here. Oh, I know you're right there. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, what are you doing here? I didn't call you. Oh, never mind. Okay. Come on, girls. Let's go talk to the yard. Let's go show off. Let's go flex our muscles and tell him of our tales of heroism and... Our superb ability to kill all the dragons that are coming back to life. Or maybe I shouldn't boast too much. And end up um, saying something I don't actually mean. Look, your horses are here. Look. Zora's horse. Um, that doesn't actually say it's your horse, Sophia. But I think it is. And I think I need to buy you some new saddles. Okay. Um, was I supposed to talk to Irileth? I think I was supposed to talk to Irileth. That's annoying. Trouble in White Run and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Ooh. What's that? Dover King. What does that mean? I don't care what you're doing. I'll do what happened. You're lucky. Until next time. Now get lost. We will be back. I need to ask this you to stop. Gordon. That <sighs> shouting is making people nervous. All right, okay. Um, won't happen again. Good. Glad we straightened that. Well, that wasn't me. That was someone yeah. else. We're looking for someone in White Run. Mistress, we'll pay good money for information. Well, there's lots of people in White Run. Locate her. Find us in Rorikstead. Locate who? Who are you talking about? Yes, good afternoon. Who are you looking for? A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. Okay. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Um, so why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. No, pay interests me. Um, so you're looking for a... Darker skinned lady than being a red guard. I think I've seen one of those near the tavern. Um anyway, whistle. Huh? I know how to whistle, it's just that my mouth was dry, and it is actually quite dry. Yeah, I do. Bye. She cannot hide from us forever. Um yeah. I think the whistling thing is uh, 
for me to be able to whistle to the horse. I need to practice until I'm good enough to whistle for the horse. So we'll do that from time to time. Pigeon! The farmers are charging me double for the produce I sell. Let me guess. They're saying it's because of this trouble with the storm cloaks? Exactly. Yes. The were cut in half because the Jarl needed soldiers. Now the bandits are bolder than ever. They've been raiding the farms. I'm right here. And supplies are scarcer than ever. Maybe I should sell swords and armor instead. <laughs> Maybe. But well, they wouldn't taste as good as a loaf of fresh baked pumpernickel. Pumpernickel? Okay, I'm interested. Let's talk to Carlotta. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. Well, you but that are bard is the worst. Pretty damn cute. In fact, you're beautiful. Okay, and that's a very big necklace. Um, so you get a lot. Uh, <laughs> you do get a lot of attention from men, including me. You've got no idea. Half the men in White Run have proposed to me. Some were even single. <laughs> okay. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. No, oh, I respect that. Fair enough. Is someone giving you trouble then? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk to Mikhail for you. If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. No, I think I'll get through that thick skull of his. Leave it to me. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Yeah, have you got any melons? Um, sorry, that was, that was crass. <laughs> um, right. Okay, right, there's all sorts of um, <laughs> double double meaning jokes popping into my head now about his meat and her fruit and yeah, okay. Um Best offense is a good thing. Yeah. Am I right? I don't think this man is feeling too well or I'm tripping on skooma. Right. Did you just say the I best think. defense is a best Cost defense again? In White Run, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Even the guards are cute. Okay. There's an old lady there. Is she cute? No, I won't, I won't look. <laughs> oh, Turgon, Turgon, Turgon. They look like they're having an argument. Is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now. And I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't stop. They look like Red Guard as well. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Okay, looks like an opportunity to save your marriage. Hi. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Um... Yeah, you're not from Skyrim, are you? <laughs> no, friend. That, I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Okay. Um, so what were you two arguing about? Although I did hear a sword mentioned and bandits. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. Okay. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Fair enough. Do you need help finding it? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Look, Amrin, I just killed a dragon. I can handle some bandits. No problem. Um, whistle? Huh? Maybe you can help me get better? It can't be helped. Uh, okay, be like that. Um, fine. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. I will. I am the uber dragon killer Wait, of... I... What? Okay, whatever. 
Um, I'm supposed to talk to someone called Danica, Pure Spring, um, about this tree. Is she in here? I know we're kind of getting sidetracked here, but there's Dragon Reach. Let's just go in here first. Go and see if we can find this Danica woman. Talk about the tree. Um, okay, sick people. Danica, hi. Welcome, child. So you're a priestess of Kinnereth. Indeed. The temple here in the city is my charge. The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped make White Run a thriving and prosperous city. After all, it is she who brings rain to our crops and fair weather on the harvest days. Um, so I heard something happened to the tree at the temple. The Gilder Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me, but not many of them around anymore. So, what's so special about this tree? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Mm, interesting. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Okay, so is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Um, so what kind of weapon would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about a weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I can't believe I'm volunteering for all of this, but I'll get Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Okay, I think we might be taking on a bit too much here, ladies. Retrieve Nettlebane. Okay. Mister, could you spare a coin? Oh, okay then. Just one gold. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Why are you begging? It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. Adoption? Oh, I'm not ready for looking after you. I've still got so much drinking and frolicking and frivolous activities to do. Although, look at your face. Maybe one day I'll be back for you. <laughs> now I feel all guilty. Okay. Come on, girls, let's go see the yard. Let's go tell him of our wonderful success story. Ah, I want to talk to you. Yeah, if it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. No, you need to leave Carlotta Valencia alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. I don't think so. She's not yours. Stop this nonsense. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Ah, awesome. I guess I just didn't want anyone to think I couldn't handle one lass. On my honor. I won't bother Carlotta ever again. Okay. Whistle? Huh? I could improve if you just give me a few tips. Not my problem. Yeah, all right then. Bye. Some parting advice? Women love sonnets. Obviously not from you. And yeah, stay away from Carlotta. 
He's yeah. Anyway, right. So, is there going to be some sort of big fanfare and big feast put on in my honour? Turgon's honour. Or it's just going to look exactly the same as normal and no one's going to really care. You know? Um, you can see Irileth hasn't come back. Oh my, Dragon's Reach is spectacular. Did they really trap a dragon inside? Seems a bit large for a cage. They trapped <sighs> a dragon in here then. I can see how that might work. Okay, interesting. Good, you're finally here. The all has been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Um... I killed the dragon, I think I deserve a reward. There's no question about that. It was a mighty deed. You've earned a place of honor among the heroes of White Rub. But there must be more to it than that. Did something strange happen when the dragon died? Yeah, when the dragon died I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Okay, so who are these grey beard people you're talking about? Because the only grey beard I can see, um, well, Preventus has got a sort of little goatee thing going on, chin fluff or something. But anyway, yeah, the grey beards. Masters of the way of the voice, they live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Right, so what do these greybeards want with me, exactly? Um, yeah. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thume, or shout. Ah. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Okay. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Pranga, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know? To climb the 7,000 steps again. 7,000 steps? I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. Awesome! It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? No. Nope. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. 
Back to business, Provence. That's super. Yes, my lord. Okay, right, Preventus. Yeah, Preventus. Look, look, look. So you're look. Thano, huh? Well, don't think some fancy title is going to oh, make okay, me Oh, okay, whatever. Servant. I'm not going to talk to you. Although I must um, admit, I'm happy for you. Right. Perhaps I could take advantage of you sometime. Uh, I mean, if we got into trouble, I could use your status to my advantage. You're always thinking of yourself, Sophie, aren't you? Not that I'm that much different at the moment, but I, I do feel like things are changing in, in my life um, somewhat. I mean, I'm now Thane of Whiterun, you know? Dragon Slayer, Dragonborn. And the gods have named you Dragonborn. Don't forget your friends now that you are famous. I won't. Um. Yeah, I won't. Okay, right. Let's have a look at what we just got. The Axe of Whiterun, it's iron. Deals five extra damage, doubled if the wielder is at full health. But it's iron. They could have given me something better than an iron axe. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, right, I was going to tell Preventus that he must have heard about our shenanigans over the last nine days. But, um, you know, we just killed the dragon. We just saved Whiterun. I mean, who knows? We might have saved entire Skyrim. Maybe that's the only dragon. Probably not. However, it looked different to the one we saw at Helgen. Um, is that my new house, Carl? Lydia, I think uh, the girl said. Ah, okay. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Uh, first of all, have you got any water? Of course. Thank you. Um, incidentally, I'm a Thane, but what does that mean exactly? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Awesome. So I guess the ladies are going to like the fact that I'm now a uh, Thane as well then, and I kill dragons and stuff. Yeah? How about you? What do you think? So what does a house Carl do? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Okay. You're willing to lay down your life for me. That's um that's pretty awesome. So you can follow me for sure. Lead the way. Cool. Superb. Right, um, let's uh, just manage your equipment, Lydia. I'm right behind you. Okay. Need to uh, look up there a second. Um, there we go. Awesome. Right. Let's get going then. Uh, let's get going then. You know, I think I've got a job for you straight away. Um, I need someone to look after the lodge while we go out adventuring. You're... Yeah, I won't be rude. Anyway, uh, let's... What's that? Hmm? White run cape. Let's go back to the lodge, shall we? It's right night time. You. We've earned a mead, an ale, or the several of both. You, uh, and... I'm knackered. We killed a dragon. Let's I've go get some back. sleep. And then we can go to High Hoth Hothgar. As this soon as we're the able. Struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. And you're another one that talks all the time. Come on, let's go back. Back to the lodge. I'm right behind you. Okay. What's the deal with that house call the Yarl just gave you? She doesn't look much to me. I could outmatch her in terms of combat. You know. Looks and just about anything really. I don't know what you could possibly see in her. She's right next I've to you. Your back. That's really rude. I don't care. And. She's actually very attractive, Sophie. I'm beginning to dislike you a bit, Sophie. Maybe we'll have a chat tomorrow morning about things. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm now Dragonborn, or I've found out I'm Dragonborn. Always knew I had another purpose in life instead of just uh, drinking and getting involved with people that 
don't really care who I am. It looks like uh I've heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. Okay, that's worrying. How many dragons are there in Skyrim? So it looks like I'm becoming a bit of a hero. I've got some meaning to my life. I knew things were going to change, but I didn't know quite how drastically they were going to change. But I guess we're going to find out what the Greybeards want with me a little bit later on. Everyone is talking. Zora's talking about shopping. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn then. Um, okay. Awful lot of information from an awful lot of you at the same time there. Yes, I must be Dragonborn. No, we're not going shopping. Yes, I killed a dragon. Yes, I'm Dragonborn and I killed a dragon, so you must really like me now, Irrela. Uh, and yeah, I'm awesome. Let's shout again. Okay, did this dragon actually have any loot? Mermelnir, the dead dragon. Awesome. It did. Look at all that. Amethyst, death bell, dragon bones, dragon scales. Uh, I don't want an iron mace. Lots of different oils. Okay, interesting. Poisons, couple of recipes, some septims. Okay, nothing particularly amazing, but still, that was quite a hoard. We actually slew a dragon. Have you only just noticed? Our names were part of a legend. This is unbelievable, my hero. Oh, thank you. And look at that concern on your face. All that, um, well, is that tears of joy? I can see that you probably were once very beautiful, so Zora. Uh, okay, change the subject then. Bye. Right. I, uh, what now is we check to see if there's anything else we can loot? That's what's now. I don't want to get too close to the burning bodies, but let's have a look. Bone mill. Arrows and a torch. Okay, anything else? Um, more burning bodies? Oh, there's a burnt body there. Okay, waste not. Well, not these steel arrows are useful. I don't actually think that dragon killed many of the guards. How cool is that? We taught that dragon not to mess ah. with White Run, didn't we? We did. Um, he didn't, but we did. Okay. Got to be one casualty. Okay, so do we go back to the yard now and show off? Yes. I think so. Let's walk. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay, fair enough. If there are any survivors, it looks pretty decimated. Everything is on fire. Come on, guys. I wonder if we can get a better view up there to try and find the dragon. Not that uh, dragons would be inconspicuous or anything, they're generally huge flying lizards. I think the smaller they are, they're called something different, like drakes. No, dragonlings. It's still here huh? somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Guardman, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Okay. Let's save us. Here he comes again. Oh, there it is. Okay, get ready. And I think finding cover is a good idea. Can I loosen an arrow off before it gets here? No. Okay, kill the dragon. Don't worry, we shall try. I did uh, lots of uh, practice over the last nine days. This being the tenth day. You know, the ale helped considerably. Okay, kill the dragon. 
Whoa! Get out the way! Get out the way! That dragon is talking to us. Yeah, keep it down. Good idea. Keep it down, but at the moment it is flying. I'm glad the rain has stopped. Make shooting this dragon slightly easier. You're going to turn and shoot me. Now you're going to fly off. Good dragon. Good dragon. Okay, it's landed. It's pretty hurt. Can we finish it off from here? Okay, come on, dragon. Whoa. Hey, dragon dead. That was considerably easier than I thought it would be. Indeed. I'm wondering why that was uh, considerably easier. Okay. Right, well, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, worry about that and should be glad that we can Hi, I'm Matt Farm, and welcome back to the Bond Movies presentation of Skyrim. Okay, so Turgon has spent the last nine days somewhat preparing for the impending dragon fight. However, he's fallen back into old habits and spent most of the time drinking Nord Ale. I really hope the dragon hasn't burnt and eaten all of the Whiterun inhabitants by now, and that the Yarl Bolgruf hasn't set a bounty on his head. Let's go and find Irelef and see if she's still alive, and take this dragon to Southern Guard with some well-placed arrows and a lot of luck. Indeed. So, we're currently outside at Home Street Home, The Lodge, with Zora and Sophia, and we're going to head down to find Irileth. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, so we've got to meet Irileth near the Western Watchtower, which will be that watchtower there. Fine, let's make our way down in the lovely rain as usual. Okay, so I can see the Western Watchtower over there in the distance, and I can certainly see some smoke. Ah, Whiterun, home of the fabled companions. They're the fiercest warriors in Skyrim. But I like the fact that they live in an upside-down boat. <laughs> they live in an upside-down boat? Okay, I'll have to have a look at that. Didn't notice that before. Something on your mind? Yeah, I was just uh, thinking about what you just said, Zora. Okay. Right, girls. Let's go kill a dragon. Because I did lots of vigorous training. Honest. Okay. Well, we know Sophie is a bit of a, a naughty one. I think Zora's got a bit of a... Uh, playful streak, shall we say, in her as well. Okay, I don't think picking flowers is appropriate before we uh, fight a dragon, but... I did so anyway. Okay, it looks like that's Irileth and the guards. Okay, let's use the uh, the path. I left the horse outside the uh, lodge, didn't I? Ah, it's not far. I mean, the lodge is only over there, and White Run's only over there. What's that? Is that a dog or a wolf? I don't know. Couldn't see anything. Okay. To the Yarl! I'm looking forward to boasting, actually. I hope he's not too annoyed how long it took. Um, it doesn't look like the dragon did anything, you know. It's probably just nibbling on a few guards. I suppose it did destroy the watchtower, but... They can always rebuild. I was busy training, you know. And if I hadn't trained, we wouldn't have killed the dragon so easily. It's 
some of the best ideas are born from a few drinks. Okay. Is that my horse? I wonder what would happen if a Khajiit and an Agonian had a baby. What are you doing here? Uh, that would be one ugly baby. A Khajiit and an Argonian? A scaled cat? I think I've seen one of those. Anyway. I'm right here. Oh, I know you're right there. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, what are you doing here? I didn't call you. Oh, never mind. Okay. Come on, girls. Let's go talk to the yard. Let's go show off. Let's go flex our muscles and tell him of our tales of heroism and our superb ability to kill all the dragons that are coming back to life. Or maybe I shouldn't boast too much. And end up... Um, saying something I don't actually mean. Look, your horses are here. Look. Zora's horse? Um, that doesn't actually say it's your horse, Sophia, but I think it is. And I think I need to buy you some new saddles. Okay. Um, was I supposed to talk to Irileth? Killed the dragon! Huzzah! Actually, I should try and get a uh, a picture of me on the dragon, shouldn't I? Someone can uh, take a sketch. Quickly, take a sketch. Me, dead dragon. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening to the dragon? What's that? I'm soaking up some sort of magical essence. Must be my... Uh, Magnetic personality. Okay, so I absorbed the dragon's soul. Use the shout section of the magic mini to equip your unrelenting force shout. Okay. Born to kill. Awesome. That was considerably easier than I thought it would be. Awesome. I um, doubt that Jarl will be that annoyed with me now. I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. No, I've got normal um, Nord parents. So I wasn't born from a dragon, but what do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I thought it was its soul. Um, is that its power? Um, I've got no idea, but I think he might be right. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. Um, According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Okay. Um, what do I shout? Hello? I can't believe it. You actually killed a dragon, and you absorbed its soul? This day just keeps getting better. Just wait till it tell people that a true hero slayed a dragon. Of course you helped out there a bit. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. <laughs> yeah, just I'm only back joking. Now for the first Although you couldn't have done it forever. without me. Okay, everyone's talking at once. Um, I'm gonna shout, yeah? Was there something you wanted? Um, yeah, I shouted. Good morning. Tell us, do you believe in this dragonborn business? Wait, are you really dragonborn? So I guess that really does make you kind of special. I guess you almost live up to my eyes. Here's a dead now. dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill you. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. Well, I'm both irrelevant.